And first here tonight at 10, major changes coming at the University of Dayton. Yeah, today UD President Daniel Curran announced he would be stepping down in 2016. He will be taking a one-year sabbatical, then joining the faculty as a professor. Robert Lowry is working for you tonight, asking about a successor and what may be next for the university. Well, the chair for the university's board of trustees says he hopes the next president here at the University of Dayton will be someone that will keep the university on the path it is currently going, with the university hitting new landmarks recently with first year applications, expansion, and finances. He hopes that the next president will keep UD flying among some of the nation's best. He's just done a lot of really cool things for the university, and I think. And he just made a huge impact. Like everybody knows him. Everybody calls him Dan the Man. Dr. Dan, as he's become commonly known around UD, will be stepping down as president in 2016, one year before his contract officially expires. I think it's an opportunity for me to go back and uh, be with the students in a different way, you know, in the classroom. And it's also an opportunity for me to uh, uh, do the research that I uh, started many years ago. Now the search is on to find Dr. Curran's successor. Steve Cobb, the chair for the university's board of trustees, says the process has already begun. We're in a good position, just as Dan was in a good position when he came in, and we want to keep the momentum going. And uh, we will look for our next leader and are confident we'll find a, a good, strong leader for the university. A new leader that could come from anywhere, Cobb says. A search committee will spend the next 16 months trying to find the best candidate. One who might not follow in Dr. Curran's footsteps as the university's first lay president. The next president, however, will be able to rely on their predecessors, with Dr. Curran planning to return as a professor. A decision to stay that will appease his many fans on campus. He's very relatable to the students, and he comes to a lot of events, so I think a lot of people really appreciate him for that reason. I wish him the best of luck, and I'm glad that he's still going to be teaching here. And after Dr. Daniel Curran's one year sabbatical, he will return to the university as an executive in residence for Asian Affairs. That's with the University of Dayton China Institute. The Board of Trustees hopes to have his replacement by time Dr. Dr. Curran steps down in 2016. Reporting live, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.